Hello ladies and gentlemen, the topic of this video will be Hoovering is a watered down version of love bombing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the reason why Hoovering is a watered down version of love bombing. Because the love bombing is excessive, it is, it is very demanding, it is very pushed on you, it is very everything they got. I call narcissists the one shot deal. They they put everything one time, you get one time, one shot deal with them where they give you everything. Even though it's fake, it's not real, it's not genuine, but they're gonna give you everything during the love bombing stage to get you, to trick you and get you real then into their life. You know what I'm saying? So they can get you. They're gonna use everything they got, you know? And you're gonna get everything they have. You know what I'm saying? And no more would you get that. You know what I'm saying? So the love bombing, and that's why we, and that's why it's easy to fall for it, cause they could fit good, like they really genuine, lovable, good people, empath people, but they not, they good at faking it, and they know the language, and they know what it look like, and what it sounds like, so they very well know how to imitate it, and they give it they all during the love bombing stage to get you, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's a game with the with the narcissists of cat and the mouse, they get a high of chasing. They like chasing, it, it, it's a high, it's excitement to them. New supply is very exciting to them. That's why you notice the narcissists uh, early on, they'll start telling everybody about you and they'll tell you how they telling everybody about you. Like I told my father about you, my moms, my brother, my sisters, whoever the case may be, my friends, they put it all on social media. You know what I'm saying? They broadcast it live in front of the world 24 seven early on you know what i'm saying the first couple days the first week the whole world know about you like you only you know what i'm saying you only it's, it's early it's it's they give everything they got it's a high to them you know it means everything to them new supply mean everything to them it's a high to them so they put they all into it and you know and they anxious to, to get out of you what they can get out of you it's almost like you know you getting a new car getting a new house getting a new job you know getting a new cell phone you know what I'm saying? That's because this is how narcissists see they they victimize object objects. So it's like, okay, this is something new. Okay, it's almost like it just came off. This is brand new Mercedes I'm getting for like a thousand dollars when it's really a hundred thousand dollars. You know, it's it's kind of like that. It's like they love supply, and you got to think about it. Supply is their life. They love it. They can't live without supply. Supply is everything, but the most important supply to them is people. They can't live or survive without people. So people are their biggest form and most primary supply so they need it and want it so in a love bombing stage they give it everything they got they always looking for new supply they are never satisfied they are never they can never get it enough they are very empty they are never satisfied and so they always looking for new supply nothing is, is as best or more important than the new supply and they treat it like that just look back at how hard they went to get you and how much time and effort and energy they put in it. Even if you was playing hard to get or if you were shy or, you know, they, they ignored everything and just kept going and kept going and kept going till they got you, you know, and they put everything into it. They put it there all. And that's the, the first and last time you will get that from the narcissist when you are new supply, when they are love bombing you, you know, you, you won't get that again. When they hoover you, it's a watered down version of love bombing, you know, because it's the same thing. It's the same attempts, but it's it's not it's not as big. It's not as big as it was. It can never be what they it can never be as big and as much as the love bombing. Because they're not going to put that much into it, you know, because they already had you. They already had history with you and they just not going to give it that all. You know what I'm saying? You're not new supply, so they don't see you as, you know, it's almost like you already got it. It's almost to them like you got a brand new cell phone. You know, you in love with that cell phone. Boom, boom, boom. But then you got this old cell phone. You know, it's kind of, you know, the, 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 the new cell phone becomes kind of the old cell phone when it's kind of like messing up. You know what I'm saying? And so until you get a new cell phone, you know what I'm saying? You go back to the, the cell phone, the last cell phone before that. And it's like they want so much for it to get fixed. And this was, you know, kind of like broken so you kind of put that to the side it's the reason why you got the new one so the new one is acting like so you like okay well 
this 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 old one I got, I can make this even better than this one because this one is kind of like more damaged now. So, but I mean to get it fixed, you're like, okay, I'm not gonna put that much into it. I'd rather put more into the new supplier, like you know what I'm saying, try to keep that going because that's better. But it's like you will if it don't cost that much. You know what I'm saying? You like, okay, it don't cost that much. So I'm getting it for very, very, very cheap on the dollar. So it's kind of like that. Like when the narcissist hoovering you back, when narcissists go to their old supply and they, they old supply, they ex supply that they discard or probably discard them as basically they are using you to stay afloat till they get back on their feet. In hindsight till they get some new supply like that's why they only keep they keep the old supply so if anything ever happens to where something goes to where they out with no supply they can always have supply because a narcissist can't not not have supply them not narcissist I want you to notice something about narcissists. Narcissists are never single. Like they are never single. When a relationship ends, they are already in another relationship. Like when a narcissist discards you, they're already in a relationship before they discard you. They just waited till they they make sure they have their ducks in the row. They don't play around. They make sure everything is all in the row. They got what they want. It's almost like you uh looking for another job. Like you don't really quit your job until you have a second you already have another job so you get another job then you put in your two weeks notice so you there probably juggling both of them or you just quit that you know this is already signed and sale so you do that for your last two weeks that last job for your last two weeks then you go straight to the new one everything is fine you every the test was already passed you already did the background check you already passed whatever may have you you good to go so that's basically with the narcissist so they never gonna be left out empty handed. So they always keep, even if, they always gonna keep supply that they can mingle with. You know what I'm saying? Somebody in the line. And they will, and that's what hoovering is. is. It's just them covering a towel to get what they want. And they hoover you back in like, okay, I want you now. They make it seem like as if they want you now or kind of they made a mistake. So. They're giving you a little bit just to get you, but they're not gonna give you everything they had because it's not exciting again. It's exciting for them, yeah, a little bit to get you back after they done treated you wrong, did you dirty it. Now they get, cause they feel like God, once they even get the supply, the new supply also too, once they did you wrong and they can still get you back, they really feel like God, like, oh, I did you wrong and I can still get you back again. You still willing to take me back? And they look at you like you are oh, oh, dumb, stupid, you're a stupid wimp and a sucker. But it still makes them feel like God that they got you back even after they did. You wrong, they, it's still a high to them. They still make some exciting, but they will never be able to give you what they uh, gave you before during the love bombing stage when you was new supply. Like you old supply now, they're not gonna put that much into you. But they'll put enough just to get you. And if you demanding more they'll just go to another uh, an, an, another uh ex supply and hoover them you know what i'm saying when it comes to who when it comes to hoovering when not when it comes to a narcissist hoovering they ex supply you know what i'm saying they're gonna go for what they need at that moment and who could give it to them at that moment what they need the most what's more important what, what type of supply is most important to them at that moment they're gonna go to that and then once they go to that uh they're gonna hoover but they're not gonna give it everything. So if you start becoming too much and they got you expecting them to give too much, they like, oh, I'll go to somebody else then. And 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 also too, at the end of the day, when it comes to it, they're gonna go through, go to the 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 cheapest uh X supply, whatever they could get fast and easy. You know what I'm saying? Anything they can reel in fast and easy, just for comfort what till they get the new supply. Basically, as narcs is just basically you become basically you just you're nothing really to them. You just, okay, you just try to get on my feet. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to use you, sit on your back, so I get on my feet, so I get something that I really want, something new, then they going out the door all over again. And then you won't see them until they need you again, and you might not see them again. But they'll keep using you if they can to keep getting supply and supply. So this is my point of why uh, hoovering is just a watered-down version of love bombing. That's all it is. They're using the same things, but it's just watered down. It's just not a much effort. You know what I'm saying? They don't put that much pride, that much, that most, that's much 
uh, effort into it because to them they already ran through you used you they already seen everything about you so they're not excited about you they already know everything they done sucked you destroyed your life ruined you they done got everything they got out of you so it's kind of like they, they already done used you up they already so it's not excited to them new supply is the most exciting supply to them you know what i'm saying so that's my take on it um let me know if you guys agree with you what you think uh what may have you you know like like if you like make sure you press the like button comment share subscribe it's all good also created an e email for you guys, just for YouTube, for you guys who want to email me. The email is Kevin Sullivan, YouTube at Yahoo.com. That plan is simple, easy like that. Also made a donation link. I got the donation button at the top of uh, my channel. Also, I got the donation link in the um, description box of all my videos. So it's easy access. Um, it's through PayPal and any currency. They accept US, euros, pounds, yens, US dollars. It don't matter. All currency is accepted. Everybody have a great day and stay narcissistic free.